folks welcome to the channel if this is your first time here i surely appreciate the support make sure you like share and comment uh here uh, get with me we no longer have commenting on the channel but uh reach out if you have any questions or concerns i'll reach out and ask those questions via email or uh, uh a text or, or a call today guys out on a client property and we are Starting to lay this one out, it's a property that I designed last year that I'm actually building for the client this year uh, here in Kentucky. As you can tell, I'm uh, early season, I'm out of, uh, <laughs> out of breath. Come along with me, I'm going to show you kind of the, uh, the do's and the don'ts, uh, the tools that you need to start laying these properties out to make your planning and build more successful. Thanks guys. Sure. I welcome you to Whitetail Driven Solutions. Hey guys, like I said, thanks for thanks for joining. We are out on a property today here in uh, Central Kentucky and um property that i designed last year like i said and it's a property that we are uh, building this year for the client uh, doing most of it he's doing uh, some of it we're doing a lot of it and uh, just laying it out so today's topic is this when you go in as you can see guys i've got this is how i uh, if you are a client of mine you can see that this is you know what i show up with i've got a it's actually a fishing backpack a spider that I wear backwards on me, so everything's out in front of me. I got my computer. Uh, the reason that I have this, and I'm, I'm kind of touching on the what to carry today, is this that you know. Once this is laid out, remember, guys, these designs that I do are GPS pinpoint accurate, so it's not a guess. That red line and that for the red line for your transition, purple line for your buck bedding corridors out to buck bedding pockets, like we're laying out right here. This is all GPS pinpoint accurate. So when you turn on the computer. You turn on the computer, you are the blue dot, and the line, the red line, blue line, whatever it is that we laid out, is there pinpoint accurate. Now, can it vary, you know, 10 yards each side, 20 yards each side? Yes, but we try to keep it in that window, and here's a perfect uh, example, guys. Up to this. So today, um, so you've got your paint, your ribbon, and all that stuff kind of in that. You can see, guys, I did the, the paint right here behind me, and I've got a trail up to... There's a, a pink ribbon up there at the end of it, you can see, and that is where the buck bedding pocket is going to be. This place is just tore up. Uh, the client did just a little bit of it last year. And you can see that sunspot that's up there, guys, behind us. That's where the buck bedding pocket's going to be. It's it's already kind of one of them native pockets that I found when I was here de uh, designing it. And it's got some daylight coming into it anyway. We're just going to go up there. You is extract 50% of those cedars and fell and, and hinge cut anything else that you can hinge around it. Promoting that tra trail, like we said, guys, always back to the point of impact. So I paint these out, starts with the design, right? Then we go in and I highly recommend after that's done, you go in and you start designing or laying that out per the ribbons. And I try to do to make it easy is color code it. So, um, and sometimes it's hard to find but i i do guys as i'll show you this up upside down and bear with me here i'm a lone soldier today uh the upside down pa paint the marking tape paint is what i use uh this is actually rust-oleum and it it's there's a lot of paint in there and you don't have to worry about it clogging and stuff like that so it's kind of construction grade if you will that's what i use to mark out like i said i would recommend doing is color coding per the design for your paint and they make all different colors of it so um, that's actually what I'm doing today I'm getting this started and laid out and then I'm actually gonna go get some I ran out of some of my purples and some of the odd colors right so uh, lay it out per the design so when you get there it just starts fitting together it you know you start mulching like this here guys we're gonna actually gonna mulch a trail up through this we're mulching a trail right from the licking branch up to that uh, up to that buck bedding pocket we're hanging the licking branch he'll have the stand so we can fit it 
one other big point here guys as we're kind of uh, playing this one out or laying this one out um i like to do is have those stands are ribboned you know if i design it for you or if you design it ribbon off your tree stands ribbon off your licking branches so when you're in and you start making the finesse so the trail's coming past it you lick the uh you know buck bedding corridors teeing right into your licking branches what i like to do is i like to make sure that all flows because uh if it's if it's off a little bit and it doesn't meet the stand well maybe you got to switch trees right so what i do is i'll hang the stand use caution get up in it put somebody up in it with a flag or a high vis shirt or whatever that is so when you're laying this out you're looking down in there and you can see it and especially when you're mulching it you mulch right to the point of impact then when you go to building it or when you're cutting in doing any hinge cutting you can reference back to that tree make sure you're not hinge cutting too close um, so I take all the necessary steps that I can possibly take and I lay it out per the design so it's very clear like I said guys I have a 95% build rate as we're talking we're gonna try to shimmy off the hill here 95% uh, build rate so anything that I can do so so we'll touch on that what's a what's a build rate right 95% of the properties that I build get get built they get built by either myself or the client so with that said if they get built they will perform all always things that we can tweak right tweak and add and, and take away or put a box blind in here or, you know move a stand add a stand stuff like that right but the layout the footprint should never change and that's why we uh, do exactly what we do what i recommend doing guys is this if, if you're building it you're laying it out sometimes when we're building it the gps will flow a little bit uh i've got a little trick that i do to try to keep it as close as we can but sometimes it floats right so if you're 50 yards off um that's a big deal if you're 10 yards off and there's a deer, deer trail there running the direction that you want it to run by all means use that because like i said guys we're not here we're not trying to reinvent the wheel we're just promoting it right so um but if there's deer trails like this one here that's running perpendicular to where we're at we're straightening it straightening that out putting it per you can see this you know what we're mulching through the uh client here actually had a mulcher so he's going through the dense the dense part of it here and then you can see behind me as he's continued on and goes right down right per the contour line goes through with this nice windy path going through and as we're going along that's what i'm here to do doing today guys i'm laying out the grid to make sure we know where our habitat pockets are going if there's any stand tweaks that have to be done so so that's kind of the the uh, path that we're taking guys if you have any questions like i said feel free to reach out um, paint ribbon color code like i said color code them as much as you can so if you're uh, like on my designs my licking branches are white so i use as you can see in the background there i use right underneath the cedar i use white ribbons that way it doesn't get real confusing for anybody if you do have some help coming and then what I like to do is I'll show you uh, as we go here, guys, you get to a habitat pocket. I'll take the paint and I'll paint one end of the habitat pocket and the other because they are built right off from the, the uh, line of travel. So right here stands behind us right down here another 75 yards on that side stands on the other side right here. What we're going to do is build a, a habitat pocket up in here. So what I do is I start on one side, paint one side of it, paint the other right on the transition, 30 to 50 feet diameter. Um, you know uh, in diameter uh, habitat pocket in there if you will and once you lay it out it starts going smooth so here's a final parting note here with you guys is make sure when you're building these take the time to do this because if you go in with a saw like i touched on recent videos you go in with a saw and you start laying this stuff out and you start putting deer in your scent cone you start making whoopses you whoopses with trees can take 20 years to cure you know um there's a lot of things like a food plot and stuff like that that we can tweak or add on but when you're removing taking and removing trees guys <laughs> that's that's not the case and uh, a lot of times uh we've got to move some stuff and really tweak you know some stuff so not that you can't it just sets you back a little bit so remember guys as we're as we're building these design first lay it out per the I'm horrible about this and I'm doing this because I'm looking at deer sign and trees and everything. But uh, laying this out, paint, matching the layout as far as your color code, color code everything. 
take your time go through and really lay this lay this out i'm telling you i set foot on properties that don't design it and they just go in and you know well so and so said i should put a habitat pocket and i think this looks good for one put it on and what happens is the line of travel's on the wrong side of it deer aren't using using it to scent check it when you're in the stand you may see the bucks but they're on the wrong side of it so it all has to flow and that like i said guys and i don't mean to sound like you know to, to beat a dead horse if you will uh with that but make sure it, it's all about the layout it's all about the design you got to kind of put yourself in engineer mode if you will a little bit and lay it out it's no different than designing a home right it's uh there's a lot of power to be said with that is you know you wouldn't put a um you know your first bathroom on the other side of the house where you got to track all the mud through it to get there right so um use kind of use that as you go guys and um like i said the biggest thing is that i was just gonna you know touch on with you guys here today color code it paint it out make your paint marks on your trees that's something we touch on make your paint marks and your ribbons high on the trees so when you are in a piece of equipment or if you're wading through the brush you can look up and see it above you and you're not it's hard to see if especially if it's thick uh, ribbon works real well, but sometimes ribbon you can't get to the trees to ribbon it off because it's too brushy, right? So you can paint it. Um, so I'd highly recommend having the paint, having the ribbon, taking the time. And if you can get help to do it, you know, lay it out. Crawl on them stands, like I said, guys, once some stands are there, make it fit the make it fit the stand. So when them deer are cruising down through there, they hit that licking branch, it's all over. It's not a three different ways to get there wrong trail was poked here wrong trails poked there that you got to shut down now you got to drop a tree in front of it it's all laid out and it just flows the moral of the story is building it so it flows it's clean but it doesn't look manufactured right it has to be hence the line of travel you can see behind us is mulch got a nice little turn to it you know any red cedars on that you leave them anything anytime you see a rub you leave it you know stuff like that um and it, and it you, th this property come July will not look anything like this. It'll be just fit, soft edges. And, and the deer are already using it, guys. We're just promoting it, right? We're finding it, promoting it, making it better. Hope this one makes sense, guys. Hope this one clears up some stuff. Uh, appreciate everybody tuning in. Habitat season is here. We're going to be doing some other videos coming down the road, guys. Uh, Merry Christmas. Happy Holidays. I surely appreciate each and every one of you that tunes into this. We're out on the properties, and man, like I said, I just this time of the year just fuels my fire. Thanks for tuning in, guys. I surely appreciate each and every one of you.